No, Miguel had the series, a 15-year-old kid who was crazy enough to follow his dream, leave his family, go somewhere else into a foreign land, starting to be independent. He's a dreamer. I think it would have to be my homecoming now. And I guess I've never thought that I'd be back in Bacolod, especially for work. Because Bacolod the man is talaga yung retreat for all yung mga problema ko sa buhay. <laughs> so, I, mean, I used to go there and just think na release. Pero for the first time in my life, I went there for work. I saw like my whole family as if they were really trying to like pull me, the, uh, like pull me up, trying to push me up there. It was just really nice to see. And saka, um, how much they were willing to do just because Starstruck was there then. The best part of being in Starstruck would be the experience. I guess naman, I've never experienced yung mga call times every single day. Um, <laughs> not being having 24-7 access to your phone anymore. <laughs> yung mga workshops with um, Gina Alahar. Uh, also, um, singing workshops with um, sushi, mentor sushi, and then also a lot of dancing. Then, so it was really nice to get myself busy once in a while. Um, that was it. Kind of reminds me of Glee Club Australia, except not in English. Star Trek changed my life to making me a more dedicated person. So, um, uh, um, in what I do, basically, and I've never. Never really wanted something so badly before. Star Trek has been showing me that there is potential that is still hidden within me that I still need to bring out and uh, master young craft. He was chill. He did what he needed to do. He followed everybody's instructions. So hoping that people just think I'm fun. I want, I want that. A fun but hardworking and um, dedicated. My name is Miguel Adesir and watch out because I'm going to be a star. Dream, believe, survive. Starstruck!